Hi guys, welcome back to another Baggins International video. Um, and today you're with Baggins, and we're looking at launching a boat from the back of a Bison 4x4. Now, I found this Bison 4x4 already equipped with boat in this area, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to nab that. So I stopped off at the ammunition there to get some fishing supplies, because I thought, well, you know, you've got a 4x4 in a boat, you've got to have some fishing supplies, a bit of tackle and, and, and whatnot. And then I thought, well, I now need to go and see if it can actually be launched into the sea, because usually with these things, when they're on the back of a trailer or something similar, they're not really on the back of the trailer. It's sort of a, you know, a computer graphic that creates the trailer and the boat all in one. And so I had very low expectations of the fact that this was going to actually be possible to, to launch it, you know, into the sea and get an actual physical boat from it. So we'll see. I uh, was heading down to the heliport here because uh, I knew there was quite a nice little slip ramp uh, which we'd used in a previous video when we were trying to load a sea shark onto um, a flatbed which you may or may not have seen. If you haven't, go and check it out on the other videos. And uh, I thought it was a good place good place to give this a bash. So I brought the trailer down very carefully, didn't want to damage the boat or knock it off if that was even possible. And uh, nurse the bison and the boat uh, to the helipad area and onto the slipway, which you can see behind me there. Now it's quite difficult to reverse a trailer, as any of the, any of you who've tried it will understand. But I thought I would get it to the edge. Now I needed a boat captain, and so I drafted in uh, Ginger Chaos, who is whisking his way across the map to the boat at this stage in order to just sort of see if it is pilotable in the water. Now, I didn't want to go too far for fear of losing the uh, boat and the bison, but I will just gingerly just uh, take it up to the waterline there and see what happened. So far, no signs that the boat is actually going to detach in any way, you know, a usable way at all. Now, here comes uh, Ginger Chaos uh, in his... Oh, I can only call a Beyonce sandrail there, so uh, he's uh, very attractive. Uh, pink, and he's also relatively sceptical about the boat, saying something along the lines of, I bet that doesn't work and you lose your truck in the sea. A uh, quick uh, conversation at the window there, um, because I would wound it down to have a, have a quick chat, and he's like, oh, all right then, I'll go in. Did whinge a bit about having damp jeans at this stage, but uh, nevertheless. So he's now in the boat, and actually sat down. That was the first sign that things might turn out positively here. So I thought, well, let's back the truck in, and it disengages. And I'm like, you know, has, have you got power? And he has power. So this is now the boat moving under its own steam, having just been launched from the back of the Bison 4x4 off of the boat trailer, something that none of us thought was actually going to be physically possible. Ginger Chaos has gone off, he's given it a quick whirl round. And then the question was posed, can we put it back on the trailer? Now I'd given, given this some thought, so I thought, well, let's put it in next to the jetty here, so if it goes off one side or the other, it'll be straightened down. Um, Ginger Chaos is having a little bit of, a little bit too much fun in the speedboat, I fear, at this stage, and um, he's lining it up to bring it back onto the onto the trailer to see if we can remove it out. Now, smoothly does it. That's gone. That's gone. Not not well. Uh, I don't think that could be described as well. So I thought I'd bring the trailer out a little bit more. And to be honest with you, I lost a bit of patience, so I just pulled the boat out of the water, but incredible. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this Baggins International video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content, and hope to see you back soon for more videos. Thanks a lot. Bye now.